What's going on guys, Adam Luce here. Welcome back to another video, Moving Away Fishing. And today, that thing is hanging out. Today we got a pretty awesome video, as you can tell by the title of this video, catching some nice fish on the reef. I'm gonna teach you guys how to catch some of this fish too. It's pretty, pretty simple. Um, but before we dive right into this video, please go ahead and drop a like on this video. You guys did an awesome job on our last video and shot the likes up and it meant the world to me. So if you guys could go ahead right now before this video starts, it's free. Just drop a like, um, drop a comment, say something positive for me, and uh, please enjoy this video. Oh my God, it's the nicest dean of your life. You want to throw hook? It's, it's you know the, the nicest dean of my life. You know the life. deals. Send that John out. Oh. Wow. wow. All right, boys, we're gonna put baits out. Hopefully catching blackfin and dolphin. I'm not going to say anything because every time I do, we don't catch anything, but we'll see. There you go. Looks like it's you. Oh, that's fine. Those needos? Just bite them nice. Yeah. Okay, it's an 18. How is that even durable? You slide. Quick dive, Joe. Big yellow jack. How did I call oh, that? Damn, that's you want him? Yeah, dude. Flip his ass. You don't need the gap. Oh, that's a big one. That's a really good eating fish, there, boys. Jay had to deal them. Look how pretty they are. I call that from like on the bottom. It's an AJ, idiot. <laughs> I, just I don't really, know why you're so excited. They really don't even taste that good. You're tripping. They are pretty though. Let's see if we can see. It. It's Tom Sweenery. Look at all the colors. Wow, Jay's let me put a bait down? It's the nicest yellow jack of my life. We need to catch some more fish. Jay's got a BB wheel on it, looks like. Give me another yellow jack. So what we're doing right now, guys, is we're anchored up um, right outside of a little wreck and trying to catch some mutton. It's not going too well. Got the old Jay Meister tight on some type of exotic. Joey from Atlantic Yacht. Trying to deal a couple mutts with the boys. Oh, I'm coming for you, Jay. Looks like I'm not coming. What do you got? Jack of sorts. 
some type of reef jack. Now they're yellows jacks? Now that's that's amberjack. That one looked tough. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Look at all the runners, dude. Golly. That's an amberjack. Tough sightseeing there. I'll do your favor, Jay. What you got, Joe's? Joey? He's got a nice head shape. Buddy, every Be single careful, jack we've caught has been the same. Alright, Debbie Downer. Why is it sliding? Buddy, that's a mutton, it's the 12 pounder. That could very much so be a mutton. Oh my god, I just got kicked like this. You would not believe me, I told you. It's a nice mutton. It is. It is. Shut up. I got one too. Oh, oh it's a nice one. Heck yeah, it is. I did, it looked very mutton ass. Let's go, Joe. That's an eight pounder, buddy. I got one too. I also have a mutton here. Do you? Yeah. Let's get a double real quick. Hold on. I knew it was a mutton. I was like, ah. I was like, it's sliding too much. You got a mutt, Tony? I don't know. That would be sick. Feeling very you want me to move there. this G Pro? Yeah. Ski? Yeah, sure. Ah, it's a jack. Huh. Jackmeister? The old Joe Meister just had a smoked and. That's a mutton? Yeah, it is. It is a nice mutton. Are oh you my kidding God. me? <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God, two nice ones, dude. Joe? Oh, that's a 10 pounder, dude. Nah. Mm. No, eight. I'd say eight. Yours is like five and a half, six. Let's go. All right, Joe, nice. Jay, now it's your turn. I'll just drop one bait down, catch a five pounder real quick. <laughs> well, I catch all the jacks. Yeah, I'll let, hey, Jay, I'll let you catch a jack. I mean, I, come on. All right, boys, two mountains back to back. And we got that little yellow jack in the cooler. You gotta weigh that thing later, Joe. Yeah. It's a nice one. Definitely not. It definitely ain't a half an This one looks like a dink, but he's a five pounder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Think that's your biggest mutton? Yeah. Alright, boys, Joey's gonna go ahead and weigh his mutton. I'm guessing we're, we're, we're thinking eight and a half. Wow. What are you thinking, Joe? I'm thinking eight and a half, too. Comment below what you think it is. Yeah, you, got, you guys got to comment below real quick what you think it is right now. Hold it. Just about eight. Yeah, no, it's eight. It's all day eight. Yeah. Eight pounder. Very Take decent. it. Very decent. With the nicest yellow jacket of your life. That's Victor. I know you'd be proud, buddy. I know you would. That's it though, we had, me and Joey hook those fish, double up on two nice muttons. Having another mutton bite in about 10, 15 minutes. That's how it goes though, those fish are swimming on the sand, just putts around. They have to swim past the nicest baits of their lives. They have to lay up on them. So you, when we're mutton fishing like this, we're way out in the sand because, well usually you get away from all the, the fish that's on the wreck or the reef and you're not getting a lot of trash bites. It happens sometimes, but that's the goal is when we're mutton fishing. And we're fishing long leaders with heavy setups. I'll go ahead and show you guys. I'll show you guys those right now. All right, so let me show you guys real quick the rig we're using. Jay, go ahead and put a bait on. We got 6.0 Mustad, Ultra Point, you know the deal. Then, I don't know. I think Jason grab a Dean. I can't call it though. I don't need it. Oh, wow. 
Um, nicest Dean of CJ's life. One of the more nicer ones I've seen in my day. Tail hooking it so he swims out with the current. Yeet. And then we got, he's got about 25, <laughs> thanks for that Jay. He's got about 25 feet of leader attached to a three-way swivel. Show you guys that real quick. He's got about 25 feet of leader attached to a three-way swivel. This is, which is this thing right here. And um, your main line goes to this one. I mean, it doesn't matter, it's three ways, whichever one you want. Your main line goes to one, your leader goes to the other going out, and then you also have like about a foot long, just regular uni knot to a dropper loop that you attach your lead onto, your bank lead. So it's pretty straightforward. If you guys are regular to the channel, you've seen this, you've seen us use it before. Um, Jay, can't, can't, Jay can't seem to catch him up now, so it's starting to feel a little bad for him. Nah, it's coming. You just put the nice scene on. It's like, big slides. Big slides. Which is very, like, kingfish esque. Kingfish? <laughs> Uh, he's sliding, Jay. When we say, when we talk about sliding, those fish will, like, they dig really hard and then they'll come up and just come real easy. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help, I'm gonna help Jay. Just another amberjack. Nothing to see here, boys. Other than the mustad in the corner of his mouth. Not the mutton we were looking for. Like I said, though, when we we anchor up oh my god mark and dean and cj so rank when we anchor up off the, yeet, when we anchor up off the wreck like that we're trying to avoid those fish if we were fishing closer to the wreck we wouldn't be able to keep a bait down we'd be getting dealed by those jacks but Big AJ. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. All right, boys, we just got back to the house. The old J Meister. Fishing with the old J Meister. Hey, shout out to that boy, Joey. That's that's uh, one of the original, original founders of Moving Weight himself, actually. Me and Joey started Moving Weight fishing up last January, or no, it was like last November, but still pretty crazy. Wow. That's a, that's a stud yellow jack. I don't think you understand. That's a big size yellow jack. And, uh, I'd say, eh, probably the nicest month of my life. It's a nice one, that's for sure. I'm gonna go clean these fish real quick. Ah, little yellow jack or mutton, baby. Mutton snapper. I just step in dirt. Alrighty. I mean, it feels so good to have just a nice big mutton like that. It, it's it's very organic feeling. Very organic. Go ahead and, uh, you know, that's nice and game. Little Dexter. The old Dexter Meister. Go ahead and start filleting this fish up. It's tough for me to sell mutton snapper. It really is. Like, a fish like this, it's it's tough, man. It's almost not even worth the money. Dan, are we doing on the half shell again? Yeah. That was like some of the... Yeah, I am. That was like ridiculously good.
come up over this rib cage source rex right here. Make some, some thick scales on this one. And over that rib cage. Follow it all the way back down. Sorry about that little vent noise too. The old Wade Meisters across the street waiting around. Well, look at that. Look at that right there. Absolutely unreal mutton flay. Now we are gonna leave the scales and the skin on. If you guys saw my last mutton snapper video, that's what we did. We cooked on the half shell. And it, I mean, it was the best. It was the best mutton I've ever had. So we're going with it again. I just gotta cut this jaw out. If you guys want to save 20% off on everything from DexterOutdoors.com, any Dexter product, any Dexter knife on their website, I'll have that link down below. You can use code Adam20 save 20% off. Best knives on the market. You know the deal already. Same with my Ocean Eyes. If you guys want a pair of sunglasses, awesome, awesome glasses, use code Adam10 for 10% off at checkout. I will also have those linked down below. All right, now we're going to go ahead and fillet this, this uh, Yumbo Yellow Jack. You can eat them ceviche. You can eat them raw. You can cook them. I mean, they're really great fish. CJ was very suspect when he caught this fish. He's like, no, oh, raggedy. I'm like, CJ, you're, you're very suspect, man. Um, go ahead and, and drop a like down below real quick for the boy, would you? We're working hard. We're trying to grow the channel. It really helps us as creators spread our videos. If you guys drop a like on this video, comment. Just com just, just leave a positive comment for me, all right? Help me get out of bed tomorrow. Look, something a little positive for the young finesse. Man, look at this meat, man. Jeez. Very petite. Very, very plissy. Right over that Tom Johnery. Yeah, I got a big rib cage. I gotta get up over that backbone, man. There we go. We're gonna eat some of that raw. Dan, are you making sushi with that? Just a roll or two? I can't tonight. No, not tonight. Oh, I'm not yeah, eating sure. it tonight. If you want. If you want. Well, I mean, so. Alrighty, guys, you already saw me take out that bloodline right there in the middle. Look how much is or is still left on it. So they have extremely white meat. I mean, it's, it's very similar to Wahoo in its firmness and everything. You can do just about anything with it. It's super firm. Uh, Piece of fresh fish, but they do have a lot of bloodline. Once you cut the bloodline out, beautiful, beautiful piece of white meat. We are gonna go ahead, go inside, eat some of this raw. I'm gonna finish cleaning up the rest of these fish and see you guys back at the house. Alrighty boys, we just got back in the kitchen and we just cut up this beautiful, beautiful yellow jack. You can see it in the light there, it's glistening. It literally looks like Wahoo, tastes the same. Awesome, awesome fish. You can eat it raw, sashimi. This was caught yesterday, so it's still super fresh. My mouth is watering, boys. I'm excited. I'm excited. A little soy sauce on there. You know the deal. Look at that. Desmond, Jiggery, John, Sweenery. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <sighs> nice wasabi on there. That wasabi. I don't even want to know. I could, that felt like, I could see in my brain. I could just see in my brain. No wasabi on this one here. That was a copious amount of wasabi. I saw that big slab of wasabi on the back. I was going to say something, but. Mm. It's so, so good. So what I actually want to do for this video is I wanted to make, um, some yellow jack ceviche but uh sadly didn't have all the ingredients and we just want to eat dinner all super super hungry i'll save that for another video it's not gonna be the last time we catch yellow jack i'm gonna make some of that tomorrow but i'm not gonna show you but maybe i'll show you a little after putts after the video but we're already gonna eat it raw for you here i'm just gonna have to sit here and watch me eat it because it's laced out i mean they will see it if they're following me on instagram though, oh right? yeah oh uh, yeah you guys want to go check me out on instagram I'm popping up 
right here. And a link down below, Adam.Malusi. Check me out on Instagram. I always keep the boys updated before I post on YouTube. So give me a follow. Okay. Alrighty, boys, we get the pan on medium heat. Half a stick of butter, slipping out of my hand here. Put it in the pan. Wow, that's a little high. Okay. Nice. Now we're gonna go ahead and while that butter's melting nice, very nice and organically. Actually, let's just bring the cutting board over this joint. Join. Go ahead and add our chopped guale. Mm -hmm. You know the deal, Dan. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cooking way too quick. Right? Some uh, prepackaged cut up parsley for the boys here. Very heavy on the parsley. Very. You know the deal. You know the deal. And then we're going to go ahead and <laughs> go ahead and add just a little bit pink Himalayan salt for all my gypsies out there. You know, just the, just the hair. And uh, <clears throat> some red pepper flakes, crushed red pepper flake, flake, flakes. I cannot. That's good. Uh, 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 that's good. Uh. Okay, that's good. I cannot talk to that man. Not at all. And then some fresh cracked pepper. Is Johnson out here? No. So if you guys are regulars to the channel and saw my last month snapper video, you saw this is the exact recipe that we did. And the reason we do that is because it was unreal. I mean, all right, this is a, this is a thick mutton plate. That's a solid three and a half pounds of meat right there. Um, and we did leave the skin and scales on because we're cooking on half shell. I, like it was, I kid you not, the best fish I've ever had in my life. We we're just replicating the recipe because how could you change that? I mean, it was it was unreal. So we're gonna let this simmer in the pan for probably another five minutes, throw it on the grill. We place down a sheet of parchment paper and then around it, it's a little boat full of nice tin foil, okay? Giant, giant filet of mutton here in the middle and then, you know, very standard, very, very standard Old Bay. Nice and simple today. Okay, we're gonna go lightly to Old Bay. Just, just to keep things honest with the boys, right Dan? Oh yeah. Oh, sure. Okay. It's not coming out. It looks like I'm pouring a lot, but it's really not coming out. Okay. Just like that. One more on there. It's not more box. Okay. <clears throat> now we got our very organic um, little mixture I made here. Look how nice and caramelized those that those little chopped garlic rigs are. I went ahead and chopped up this garlic nice and fine in little pieces. Uh, Half a stick of butter, parsley on there. We got um, red pepper flakes, salt, pepper, a little bit of olive oil, top her off. Oh boy, is this gonna be good. Now, and last but not least, we spread all that love and goodness. And now, nice piece of lemon. A little organic squeeze on there. And now we're gonna go throw her on the grill. We got her set to 350. I'm gonna put one sheet of tin foil over this and we're gonna let it cook for about 10 minutes and we're gonna eat it. All right guys, we just pulled it off the grill. I actually cooked it a little longer than I'd like to. I cooked it for about 15 minutes. As you can tell, the parchment paper is burnt. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you boys, I did overcook this fish. I lost track of time, but I tried it. It is, I mean, it was a thick piece of meat. It is, when you cook fish like that, you cannot overcook it. It is so moist, look at this. Look how moist this fish is. Oh my God. Mm. Not overcooked at all, look. So what I did is I got a little rig Tom Riggery like this, poked it in that jaw and just slid it right off. And these are all the scales and this is the skin right here. The meat slides right off it. I don't know what it is about cooking on a half shell like that, but it just, it just adds a ridiculous amount of, copious amount of flavor here. All right, boys, well, me and Dan are gonna go ahead and chow down. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys would go ahead right now, oh no, we already did the drop a like thing. No, do it again. If you guys would go ahead right now and drop a like on this video, you can tell a bunch of time and effort was put into it. Like I said earlier, it really helps push our YouTube videos and we wanna grow the channel. I wanna keep posting more videos. We are sticking to every four days until the summertime. We're gonna kick it up because we got more videos to film. 
Um, that being said, I appreciate and love each and every one of you. Uh, we're, we're doing it. We're, we're doing full-time YouTube now, I guess. So keep the videos. I don't know what the <laughs> saying. <laughs> what do you mean we're doing full-time YouTube? I don't know. Just uh, go ahead, subscribe. Subscribe. All right, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm done talking. Thanks, guys. Till next time. <laughs> Movement weights out. Bad the sun